Thomas thanks welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new thank you so much for coming my name is Tumi Adelisi and for those of you that are already good channel already family on my channel thank you so much for coming back you deserve love you deserve kisses so guys happy new month so this is a new month and I'm so gingered I'm so hyped for this month so today let's just, just talk about the habits that I feel like we should not carry into May 2020. Yes, I don't even feel like these are the habits that we should not carry into May 2020. So the first one I have is lying on social media. Half of the tweets I'm seeing, people are lying. People are doing things for clout. That's how somebody lied about how the police blocked him and he could not get his mom to the hospital. Why are you a liar? Somebody like people are just lying up and down on the social media. You open your mouth, everything you just vomit is lie. She won't feel rush any. I don't understand. Like, why are we lying? Like, just be honest, like don't exaggerate things. Like, especially all the Twitter influencers, I used to stage drama. I don't know whether to make the TL hot or not. The TL is not hot, it's just toxic, and you're just stupid, and nobody's going to patronize you if you are an idiot. Period. Start lying just to get likes or just to get retweets or just to get people to follow you. Like it's unnecessary, it's uncalled for. Trust me. Earlier this morning when I woke up, someone was talking about how um on Twitter, like there's always one big thing every day, and trust me, you don't want to be that big thing. So what so what now happens if you lie today and everybody starts following you, everybody gives you pity, everybody's feeling bad for you, and everybody's feeling sad, and tomorrow we've all moved on to the next thing. And apart from that, like Maybe next week or next year, everyone has found out, oh, this guy was a liar. You were just like, 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 where, like, what's the game? Like, what's your reason? What's the reason? What's the reason? What was the reason? The reason? Now, trolling and judging people on social media. A lot of people that troll people or a lot of people that just pass off negative comments and just start saying things about people. I'm of the opinion that they're just sad and they're toxic people and they're just reflecting their self-hate. Like... If you don't like our content, move. It's not that deep. Like it's literally not that deep. I, you don't have to comment. That I feel like that's the mantra for this time. Like, always resist the urge to shallay. Like you literally don't have to comment. You literally don't have to start saying your two cents. Like I mean, like it's not necessary. If I did not ask for your opinion, shut up. Shut those lips, sweetie. Just when somebody posts news, it's none of your business. When somebody decides to twerk on Instagram, it's none of your business. Like, it's literally none of your business. I mean, like, you, who are you to judge? Like, who are you to say, oh, because this person is posting this thing on this, this, this social media, this person is not going to go to heaven, this person is going to go to hellfire. Like, you are not God. I mean, like, we are not God. Like, I get that, oh, like, the thing is against your morals or the thing is against what you stand for. Yeah, that's fine. But just look away. Like, it's not, like, it's not, like, it's not your place to condemn them. It's not your place to start giving them your two cents when they didn't ask for it. The man is that we need to stop exhibiting is this cancel culture. Oh my God. Like, I don't get it. Like, why are we saying we're canceling people away from judging people? Like, I don't understand. Like, why are you canceling somebody? Are you God? Like, God never gives up on you. So why are you giving up on somebody? Like, I'm confused. Like, why are you canceling people? Jesus Christ did not cancel Saul. Instead, he turned him into Paul. Jesus Christ did not cancel Peter. So who are you to be canceling your fellow human being? I understand that people make mistakes. I understand that people say things that they're not supposed to say. I understand that people do things that they're not supposed to do. But I mean, like, people have done these things or people said these things when they were younger. People did all these things when they did not really understand or when they didn't even like themselves. Along with Nella Rose, like a lot of people that are conversant with UK Twitter will understand what's going on and a lot of people that watch on YouTube will understand what's going on. But what Nella Rose did was that um eight years ago, I think like eight, seven years ago, like she posted some things on social media and she's really insulting black girls and she's really saying nasty things about black girls. And okay, obviously 2020 now everybody saw what happened and everybody read them. People started dragging her, people were insulting her. Now she came on um YouTube and she came to clear everything and she was talking about how oh the thing um so she came on YouTube yeah and she came to um clear everything out and she was talking about how everything started from self hate and how she hated being black and yada 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 and she was just basically saying things that like oh me I could relate to and she said it and she was like okay that she's going to accept the full responsibility and she knows that for every action there's a reaction and there are consequences blah 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 and she was just apologetic and she wasn't even looking for pity she was just being honest and straight up. So now, I get the fact that, oh, people are going to take time to heal. I mean, people looked up to her. People still look up to her. But I don't get the fact. Oh, I don't get why people are not for me. They are going to cancel her. Oh, Nella is canceled. Oh, we're not going to watch her anymore. Oh, we're not going to do this. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. I'm confused. And you still get down on your two dirty knees tomorrow and say, Jesus Christ, forgive me for all my sins. Huh? I don't understand. Like, who are you fooling, boo? Like, 
Why are you fooling? Like, <laughs> who's the clown? I'm confused. Who's the clown? Because if you're cancelling people, yeah, you might just as well just get your wig, get your red nose, get your clown shoes, and just say out loud that, you know what, you're a clown. I'm a clown. You don't need to cancel people. I mean, like, let people learn from their mistakes. It's one thing, let's say, people are unapologetic. It's one thing, let's say, people don't want to own up to their mistakes. That's fine. That's cool. That's good. That's when you can now start hitting them and start saying that, okay, you know what, you're naughty. I'm going to cancel you. And that's on it, period. But when somebody has already seen the error of our ways and somebody's already apologizing, like, I mean, just let it go. Like, even though it's going to take time, like, you all should just let it go. That, that's just it. I mean, like, you all should just let it go. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining and educative. And please, if you're part of the like, between one or two or even all the madness, let's stop this madness. Let's start acting like sane people. I know quarantine has done a little bit on our brain, but I mean, let's just start resetting and let's start acting like normal people this me. And if you like this content, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see something similar to this, or you'd like to see similar content, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful May and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Love you.